already know who it is back at it with another video for you guys today so this video is a little bit different got a little movie news shall i say so without any further ado let's get into it so as you guys know because of what's been going on these past well this past year um things a lot of things have been different right so specifically movies right a lot of us aren't trying to go to movie theaters right now i mean it's just it is what it is some of these movie people are being really stubborn and stupid straight stupid to want people to go to the movie theaters so bad cases are still going up and everything like that so until that stuff dies the hell down i'm not going godzilla versus kong that's right that's right that's right so this article before i read it um i might put it up on the screen so you guys can see it for yourself um this is from ihorror.com i'll leave the link in the description um this is from well this was written by trey hillburn the third godzilla versus kong is sadly going to head straight to hbo max it's not sad and i'll explain why at the end i'm pretty sure you all know why but anyway here it goes it says the new world isn't a very cool world that's what you think watching movies in the comfort of your own home is nice and all but there is nothing like the movie theater there is nothing like an alamo draft house what the hell is that so there are a lot of films that will be going straight to streaming and it's a bit of a bummer there have already been a few, most recently news that Wonder Woman 1984 would go straight to streaming service, straight to streaming services, particularly intense. Now it sounds like Godzilla vs. Kong will see the same fate, which is the best thing to do. Um, currently there are bidding wars between Warner Brothers and Netflix. Okay, the streaming giant offered 200, hey, I'm reading that, you bastard. Okay, the stream, these damn ads on this phone, it's ridiculous. Ooh, that's bright, ain't it? Look at that, it's like heaven on your screen. Anyway, the streaming giant offered $200 million for Godzilla vs. Kong, but it looks like the film will be going to HBO Max, who has a larger reach in China. Godzilla vs. Kong will most likely go to theaters both in the States and in China, but it is looking also to go to HBO Max in addition to that, which is the smart thing to do, like I said. Okay? The film is still slated for May 21st, 2021. Okay? And that isn't likely to change. The trick at the moment is getting the film enough money to turn a profit, which is tough to do when working a film that isn't guaranteed to make a lot of money at the movies post-COVID. Hey, do what you gotta do. In any case, I'm glad that the film is still slated for the limited release at the theaters. Sure, it would be nice to see it at home, but I'll be buying a ticket to see it if at all possible. Okay, what do you guys think about Godzilla vs. Godzilla? Okay. So, pretty much, um, shout out to Trey Hilburn the third for writing this article. Um, I don't think it's sad though that um, I don't think it's sad. It might be sad for the people that made this movie, and you know they're just they're trying to get all their you know big big bags and coins and all that. But at the end of the day, it's a panoramic. It's a panoramic. We need our money. It. I mean, it is like people. A lot of, you know, some of us, you know, we don't care, you know, about what's going on with the world. We still, some of y'all, not us, because I do what I have to do to stay safe. I'm not paranoid to where I don't want to go outside. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, you know, I mean, this is just the new normal for now. People are still going out to clubs, having big supersized ass parties. Like it's 1980, like it's 1999, you know. Everybody just all close. I don't see no mask. Just all, all types of hot, stanky, funky ass breath particles just floating in the air. And Lord knows what else. And then if somebody get the cough and y'all want to look like, oh, what is that? Like, you dumbass, you should have stayed your ass at home. Shit. Anyway, though, it's not a sad thing because for the time being, I've said this before, um, this, you know, VOD stuff, like, that is that is our new movie theater right now. It is. I mean, like, people have been watching Netflix for a minute, Hulu, you know, now they have Apple TV. I don't know how long it's been out, but, you know, they have it. And all these other types of stuff. They got the Fire Stick, Roku, you know, Voodoo, all that shit all of it and then i forgot about some of these um 
channels, you know, if you have cable like HBO, Showtime, Cinemax, all that stuff like that, you know, so these movie people, they have options. You know, Wonder Woman, they are, you know, put, put, putting that on VOD for just in time for Christmas. And that's just the smartest thing to do. It is. Like, people are not trying. I'm Listen, do you know how many people are in the movie theater? They got all types of people playing their part in, in the movie theater. Let me explain. You got the people that work there, okay? You got the people that give you the, you know, give you the time of the movie or whatever. You know, they clock you in to, you know, let you go in the movie theater, depending on which one you want to see, right? Then you got the people standing, somebody standing right there to give you your tickets and stuff and let you know where to go this way or that way in whatever room, you know, theater room. You know how it goes in the theater. Then you got everybody standing at the, you know, the food stuff, trying to buy their little snacky snacks and all that and paying, you know, damn near what you would pay at a restaurant because, you know, movie theater, you know, snacks and shit is expensive. You know, that's why we all, at, at a certain point in time, we bought our own shit at a certain point in time. Just saying. And you got security more than likely. You got people running in and out the bathroom. You got people in the theater room that you in, you know. And we all know theater seats are pretty damn close. Much right now. It's not worth it at all. Y'all movie people need to stop being stubborn. You're going to make money, okay? You're going to make money. Y'all you, act like people ain't going to watch it just because they can't go to the theater. If, they, if people, some of the people want to go and take their dumb ass to the theater, be my guest. Go right ahead. But me... Put it out on VOD and that is it, okay? Especially if you got a super-sized TV, you good to go. You can make it like a theater, okay? Shit. Ain't no excuses. Shit. Anyway, y'all, this damn computer, this camera was straight tweaking. I don't know what the hell. New computer coming soon. Don't need to worry about it. But listen, they need to do this with other movies such as The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It. I want to see that. You know, that's supposed to come out in July, I believe. June, July. Um, they should have did it with Halloween Kills. Because in case y'all forgot, that was supposed to come out this October, this Halloween, pretty much. But they pushed it back to October 2021. You know how long that is? I mean, yes, time does go fast, but it doesn't go that fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you know how long of a wait that is? Because it was supposed to be like three parts. Um, Halloween, which came out... What was that last year, year before last, something like that? Then Halloween Kills, which was, which was supposed to come out this year, but because of you know with everything that's going on, you know these movie people think that it's best to just keep pushing these movies back. So that was coming out in 2021, and then Halloween Ends, I think that's the last one, comes out in 2022. It's too long of a wait. Like, come on, man. Like, and then the Candyman. Let me get back on that shit. Um. Now, we all know that shit has so many damn pushback dates because we remember in, I think the first trailer came out in January. If I'm wrong or oh well, y'all could tell me in the comment section. So that was supposed to come out originally in June, right? But because of what happened and the cases started getting up and up and up, they pushed the shit back to September. I was cool with that because it was like a personal birthday gift because it came out two days after my birthday, right? Well, it was supposed to come out two days after my birthday. But they pushed it back again to October. I'm like, oh, Lord, okay. So that's another month. And then we get the news that it was pushed back indefinitely, meaning it's going to come out next year, but we just don't know what month or whatever. Listen, shout out to Nia DaCosta. She is the director of the new Candyman that's coming out. And then Jordan Peele, he's like one of the producers, I believe. So shout out to both of them. But um, I definitely think, too, they should put it on VOD. Or talk to one of these, like, you know, cable channels like HBO, Showtime, Cinemax, all of that. Do what's best. Because she said on Twitter about how she wanted people to pretty much experience it at the theater. I wanted to experience it at the theater this damn year. But that didn't happen, did it? No, it didn't. Let me tell you why. It's a panoramic still going on, okay? Like I said, some of us, we give a shit about ourselves as well as others that we are close to. You know what I'm saying? And nobody is trying to risk going to a theater right now because we want to experience the movie in the movie theater. That's bullshit. That's bull fucking shit. Okay? Like, come on. I know I ain't the only one that that, that, that thinks this. That is the, th this in-home theater stuff, that is our new movie theater for the time being. That is the new normal of movies, you know? 
instead of, so what every so like say for instance if we're still in a bit of a rut with this virus by um may of 2021 what y'all's just gonna keep pushing movies back that's just dumb at that point hell they didn't push the damn playstation back hell you can't even find one they push these damn video games back well they, they pushed a few back but you know not you know majorly you know not too much so what's y'all excuse? Y'all just trying to like get the big numbers at the box office. That ain't gonna happen like that right now. Y'all put these movies out and it's just what? Gonna be exclusively for movie theaters and not a lot of people are obviously not gonna go and it's not gonna make as much as you thought anyway. Then you're gonna be looking stupid trying to find out for the box office. Put the shit out on VOD. Let me explain this again. Y'all have so many damn options. Let me break it down. You got Netflix. You got Hulu. Hell, you got YouTube. You got, um, what's the other one? You got fucking Fire Stick. You got Voodoo, Roku, um, HBO, Showtime, Cinemax, Videos at the Dark, BET, FX. Hell, shit. VH1, MTV, Apple TV. You got, you got options, movie people. I'm pushing these movies back. It's pointless. Then the hype is gonna die down. You what you gonna put a trail out like sometime next year? And they be like, oh okay, I forgot this was even coming out. That's what's gonna happen. Then y'all really gonna lose out on money. So just do what you got to do. Put the shit out on VOD, okay? Let people watch it from home. I could get easily as scared, like say for instance, when when The Conjuring Three comes out, right? I could get just as fucking scared at home at I, as I would at the theaters because I'm wa I'm watching this new film so obviously you know cut the damn lights off get you some popcorn and have a happy like I said it is gonna keep pushing them back that's just dumb you might not you might as well not even put the shit out no more that's just dumb and ignorant and stupid and ugly so with that being said if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button comment below your thoughts you guys let me know let me know if I'm wrong you know what I'm saying? We understand because they want to make the money. Forget all that part. Forget about them right now. We the people that's going to see it to give them our money pretty much. So I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. So you guys let me know in the comment section. Do you think this is the best option? Which I think it is. Like, come on. You know, I mean, if y'all let me know, if y'all still going out to movie theaters, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Because before you know it, they're going to start having damn COVID tests and shit out time. By the time y'all come out the theater, they're going to have them ready for y'all so y'all can know. And how big of a mess would that be? Y'all going to be all segregated and shit. They're going to have a bunch of people in quarantine suits and shit. Testing people at the theater. Trying to see if you got the room. It's a mess. It's too much. So let's just do it the safe way and that's it. Don't back talk me. No. Don't. And uh, you guys know this is mostly a reaction channel. So if you guys want me to check out some more videos, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram. Hit that notification bell so you guys know a video up and loaded. Make sure you guys are still washing your hands. Um, sanitizing. All that good stuff. Watch a movie at home. Net, and I don't care what y'all say. Netflix, Hulu, they got a whole bunch of stuff. So there's no excuse. Movie people. Y'all better listen to the people. I ain't the only one thinking this shit. Damn it. Shit. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. It's Taylor Rain, and I'm out.